All right then, so now we're successfully signing in and signing out of the application and we can see the current auth status because we log the props to the console over in the nav bar. So let's have a look. This is when we're logged in. On the Firebase object, we see auth has a UID, so that is present there. And when we're logged out, the Firebase auth is loaded, is true, but is empty, is true. We don't have that UID, so that's when we're logged out. So now we know this information, I guess what we can do is keep track of whether a user is logged in to our application based on this property, Firebase Auth, and then either show content if they are logged in or show different content if they're not logged in. An example of that would be in the navbar. If a user is logged in, then they want to see this link, new project, they want to see log out, so they can log out, and this, but they don't want to see these two things. If they're logged in, they don't need to sign up for a new account or log in again, and vice versa. If they're logged out, I don't want to show this to a user, new project, or log out, or their initials, because we don't have them. We just want to show these two links, right? So let's use the fact that we know now on this Firebase object, whether a user is logged in or not, to conditionally show either these links or these links to a user. So over in the navbar component, let's open that up, navbar over here, let us do this little check. We've already mapped state to props over here and we're just logging out the state. We're not actually returning anything, right? So now let's return some kind of auth status. So I'm gonna attach an auth property to our props inside this navbar and I'm gonna say that is equal to the state then it's the Firebase object, then it's the auth object, right? So let's delete this console.log anymore. We don't need that. But now we can access this property inside this component. Now we need to take those props into the navbar, remember? So let's take those in and then let's destructure the props to get the auth property. So I'll say const auth is gonna be equal to props. So we're just grabbing the auth property we attached right there from the props. So now we have that and we can do a check. So let's console.log just auth for now. Now let's save this. And if we reload, we can see right now, this is the auth object. But if we sign in using that test account, so test at the net ninja.co.uk and then test one, two, three, four, and we log in, then we should get this new object, which is the auth object now in this component, and that has a UID. So they're different in both cases, right? So what we could do is we could check to see, does this property UID exist on the auth object? If it does, then we want to show the signed in links because the user is signed in. If it doesn't, then we want to show the signed out links. So let us now do that. What we're gonna do is use a ternary operator to do this. So then underneath this console.log, I'm gonna say const links is equal to, and then auth.uid and then question mark. Now this is gonna be true if that property exists and it's gonna be false if it doesn't. Now, if it does exist, then the user is signed in and we want to show signed in links. So what I'd like to do is return signed in links right here, the component. And we can do that because we've imported signed in links. Now, if that is false, then the user is obviously signed out. So we want to return the signed out links. So signed out links. And this is obviously false if it doesn't exist, the UID. Okay, does that make sense? So now what we've done is this ternary operator to store either this component or this component inside this constant, dependent on the authentication status. Now what we need to do is output this inside the template. So instead of nesting both of these right here, let's delete those and just output the links like so. That's all we're doing. So that's either gonna be signed in links or signed out links, dependent on whether a user is signed in or not. So let's save that and view this in a browser. And currently we're signed in. So we see these two things right here, but if I log out, then we're signed out and we see these things, right? Does that make sense? Let's go to log in and try this again, test, at the net ninja.co.uk and then test one, two, three, four, and we want to log in. And now we should see these links. So that's cool, right? We're using this authentication status now from our state stored on state.firebase.auth to give us access to that inside this component. Then we're returning different content dependent on that authentication status. 
and we can do this in different places around our application, not just inside the navbar. And we will be doing this a little bit or different variations of this as we go through the rest of the series.